Rich Priebus, chairman of the Republican National Committee, is here. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Charlie. So where is Governor Romney coming into this convention? Because we read reports that he wants to be more combative. At the same time, he wants to simply say, I am who I am. Where is he? I think, I think we need to do two things, and I think this is where he's at. Number one, we need to prosecute the president and, and what he prosecute. promised. And what he promised and what he delivered. I mean, we need to tell the American people and remind the American people that this is the president that said that if we pass a trillion dollar stimulus, we would have unemployment at this point below 6%. We've been above 8% for over 42 months. We haven't seen this bad of an economy, at least as far as those numbers are concerned, since the Great Depression. Said he cut the debt in half, or excuse me, the deficit in half. Didn't do that. Going to tackle the debt didn't do that. So we need to prosecute the president, who seems to be in love with the sound of his own voice, but didn't follow through on his promises. The next piece, though, is we need to tell the Mitt Romney story, and I think that's more of what you're going to see this week, the Mitt Romney story. Why do you think that in the polling it says President Obama seems to voters to care more, emphasize care, feel for where we are in terms of the economy and what it's done to us? Well, I think, I think the president's done, you know, one of the things he does, uh, at least some people say he does a good job of, is that's giving speeches. I mean, that's, that's like a forensics exercise that the president seems to uh, master sort of the illusionary world of Barack Obama. And, but that's a world that doesn't go very far when you start looking at the reality of where we are in this economy. One of the things that President Obama can't escape, which is a total benefit to us, is that he can't escape the truth of where we're at in this economy. And the truth and the facts are on our side. And it's a lot easier to win a case when you've got good facts. But many people looking at this campaign say neither candidate has laid out a plan for the future. And that's the problem. They all want to look back and say what's wrong with the past, but not look to the future. Both Governor Romney and the president haven't done that. Well, certainly, and, and, and I don't want to be one-sided here, but I think we can agree on a couple quick things. One, the president and his party haven't passed a budget through Congress in over three years. I mean, we've talked about that and talked about it, but I think it's important to remember. So they've actually failed as a, mat of, as a matter of law to comply with the legal requirements that they have to the American people. I mean, it's not just political rhetoric. They haven't complied with the law. But, but, but Mitt Romney's the guy that says that he wants to reduce spending from 25 percent of GDP, meaning 25 cents on every dollar made in America to run the federal government. He wants to reduce that number from 25 to 20. He wants to cut across the board on every income bracket 20 percent. He wants to reduce small business taxes from 35 to 25. I actually think Mitt Romney's been extraordinarily specific with his plans, and he named Paul Ryan as his running mate. I mean, how much more specific can we get? Uh, that will certainly be an issue. Let's talk about the weather here and what sure. it's going to do in terms of this convention. Yeah. Well, I mean, we had to err on the side of safety today. I mean, no one really knows how bad the wind and rain is going to get here in Tampa, and that's important. When the Secret Service started taking down the tenting outside, which means our guests would be waiting out in driving rain potentially for you know an hour. Uh, the buses couldn't be we couldn't be assured that they could make it across the causeways. We, we had to err on the side of safety. But we're moving on. We're planning on moving forward. All the speakers are going to be absorbed into the rest of the week. When will Ann Romney speak? Uh, uh, Tuesday night. She'll be Tuesday night. Yeah. Before the keynote. Th that's that's where we're at now. I mean, we're going to have production meetings today, um, and and I, and those specifics will be released by the uh, by us and the campaign later. Is it today. your sense that in terms of Tampa, the worst of the storm is over? I don't know that. I mean, I, I'm sure we're going to be having rain bands uh, throughout the day, uh, but it, certainly it's it's trending away from Tampa. But obviously, we worry and pray for those that might be in its path. Ryan Priebus, thank you for joining us. You bet. As we thank begin you. our coverage from Tampa.